Welcome to the YouTube channel. In this Power Automate tutorial, we will see how to save the Microsoft Forms response and attachment to the SharePoint list using Power Automate. So this is my Microsoft Form. Here we will submit the response and attachment and it will save in the SharePoint list. Basically, first step we will do the save Microsoft Form response to the SharePoint list and then we will add attachment to the SharePoint list using Power Automate. Now let's see our Microsoft Form. This is our Microsoft Form. You can see there is product ID, product name and product description and user testimonial. And this is my SharePoint list. You can see same column to save it like attachment description here we are saving the user testimony but i have given the name as attachment description product id title so this is my flow and uh, th this flow will trigger when a when a form will submit and uh, so i have given form id then i gather all the response details from the form then i create item as in create item there is no column to add attachment so i need to add i need to add attachment by using the add attachment action so for this i need file content and file name which is compulsory so this is the power session why you i use power session to get the file name from the get response details here you can see user testimonial output of the gate response detail if i will go back i will show the json code which i am using for parse session you will use this json code to get the name of the testimonial document if i will copy the json code go to generate form sample and paste it here and click on done you will get this schema over here so next we will get the file content using path Basically, what is happening if you go to OneDrive where the Microsoft Forms is created and have a document, it will create an uh, folder like apps, Microsoft Forms, then it will create another folder in, inside Microsoft Forms with the um, Microsoft Form name. So, here you can see uh, questions. If I will see, this is the documents here i have given the sample document you can give your business requirement documents so from this we will get the content that's why we use onedrive to get the file content using path then you need to provide apps dot microsoft forms on to get the first name as there are here we are getting the file content using path but here three to four documents are there from which one you will get the path for that i we use first body parse session name we took the name property to get the file content for which the form is submitted like we can say we can get the current file content like then we use apply to each to add attachment to the SharePoint list here you need to provide site address list name id for file name and body as we can add multiple file here it will automatically add this apply to each action now let's see how our flow is working click on save and test the click on test now we'll test manually go to the microsoft form and fill this form Let's select keyboard, product description, load file, download. Now it is submitted. Now you can see your flow is running. Your flow ran successfully. And here you can see, if I will refresh it, now you can see keyboard key 001. This is a keyboard and we have added the attachment. We want to check the information. Here you can just see. So that's all for today. Do subscribe to our channel to see lot more free videos. Thank you so much.